<laughs> in the greenhouse, we are now growing um, automatics. For the first time, the next round we will do for sure for 20 uh, automatics. Uh, because it's so easy, we put it in an uh, auto pot with bio taps. Yes, you heard right. Legal fast buds in the coffee shops of Holland soon. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And always remember, this video is only for educational, documentary and scientific purposes. It's 420 somewhere and I am here again with another legend. Can you introduce yourself? Because I do not want to butcher your name. You're Dutch and I, I'm, I'm bad at pronouncing the name probably. Uh, my name is Karel and uh, I'm around here for many years in the cannabis industry and uh, still alive and kicking <laughs> you are have been breeding for 40 years yes 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 more or less I was uh, one of the first uh, actually the second uh, one in the world with the seed bank uh, the first one was the seed bank and the second one was my seed bank super sativa seed club uh, established in 1985 and uh, we did it for uh, quite a few years, then we stopped doing this and uh, I went on uh, breeding, went on uh, growing first on rock wool, mineral, then I changed to organics and uh, I established the company um, Biotaps like 15 years ago. Uh, Biotaps is doing very well, organic growing is, uh, is the future of course. And uh, now we are here in Germany and uh, Germany, those people, they really understand how to grow. Because growing for them is synony synonymous and organic. So I think it's crazy, really, right? Yeah, how really. many living soils come up? I wanted to. We're gonna talk about the past in a second. But how many living soils and stuff? Everybody goes organic here. It seems like there is basically a tiny market for minerals, and the rest is organic. It, no? it seems so. Uh, I think that that's just because of the Germans. They understand. They, they, they like quality. Look to their cars. Look to their, to their lifestyle. They understand. When you grow wheat, let's do it organic. They, they, they understand, Germans understand about quality, really. And it reflects in the samples here. I hope you got to, to, to see and try some uh, good samples here because we judged uh, two cups and the quality was mind-blowing. I'm not, I'm not joking, was mind-blowing. I can understand that because, um, of course, uh, a lot of people come to me, uh, younger people, and they, they tried our uh, biotaps, uh, first time growers, and then they are very proud to show me buds. And then I really think, wow, is, if this is your first grow, <laughs> then it's really going very, very well in uh, Germany. And because uh, it's, it's, of course, uh, our biotaps system is very easy to use. We made it easy because we want everybody to grow his own wheat. And not only the people who are really deep into it, even if you want to have grow a few plants. And that's so nice that the quality of the, of the first growth is a lot of times better than people are, who are growing many years, mineral, making mistakes. And then I think, wow, people understood what we try to teach them. Absolutely, you know I like your product, I'm using your product. I mean, I always want to say, you need really good products and you need a deep understanding for a few things. You need a good environment to grow good, good cannabis. You will need to have good food for the plants and you will need good genetics. Yeah. No matter who does this, find your own, find the best you can find which works for you. And the important thing for me is, I am a big fan of organics as well, so I'm standing up for that. And I'm a big fan of automatics, which are making a lot of things easier for a lot of people especially in the more northern countries and so I just try to stand there for that and I think we have a similar approach in many in many ways. Uh, but, uh, talking about uh, automatics it's really a, a story for me I never I never did it uh, because um, the first times I uh, I smoked the um, the automatics, it, it really the ruderalis taste was still there, and then I, I did I hated it, but then we uh, became friends with Memphisto Genetics. You know them, of course. Yes, of course. And then uh, they showed me birds, and I think, oh, this is automatic nowadays, so this is going well and well. And then, of course, we know for 20 birds, and uh, we know Nico, and then uh, they they show the passion, and I think. This is going to be better and better and better. And now I am, I am in the situation that we have a permit in Holland to grow legal. We have a big greenhouse. Uh, in the greenhouse we, ins we installed uh, six uh, indoor cells with LED. 
But in the greenhouse, we are now growing um, automatics for the first time. Uh, it's Dutch passion automatics. The next round we will do for sure for 20 uh, automatics, uh, a few of the Manifesto as, as well. And I'm really surprised because it's so easy. We put it in uh, an outer pot with biotaps. We don't have a blackout screen and whenever we, th we think it's good, at a good time of the year, we, we, we start in, uh, in April, we make two rounds, the last round we finish in, uh, in October, and it's, and it's nothing, we don't have to do anything, we just put it there, uh, yeah. make sure there is enough uh, organic fertilizer in the, in the outer pots, and it's really amazing the, quali the quality, uh, I, I was really surprised that there is, uh, we, we have like an AK uh, triple haze and it's really a haze man, it's really a haze. And, and when we're talking about you saying that it is really a haze, <laughs> I like to think of you as one of the people who really made haze big back in the 80s. Uh, yes, uh, I was one of them, uh, of course Neville, uh, Santi Baba, those were the real, uh, yeah, those are the people who, who made uh, haze big, yes. And it's, uh, I. I feel that, is, that, that there is going to be a revival of Hayes, because Hayes, I have seen a lot of younger people, um, they can't handle Hayes. They think it's too messy in their head, too, too, <laughs> too up, but it's a matter of, um, I think the future, uh, we need energy in the future. We don't need sleeping people, we really need energy, and I think um, Hayes will give a lot of people, a lot of energy. You, you need to be used to it. But the taste of the haze, the effect of the haze is so yes. fuck, fucking amazing. It's really something <laughs> that, that I want that everybody, also the young people, will uh, get to um, get to know and uh, learn to grow. A lot of people are also uh, afraid of, learn, of uh, growing hazes because it takes so long. There are a lot of hazes on the market already. Uh, they. They took back the, the, the growing cycle of 12 weeks to 10 weeks and 10 weeks, hey man. We are not in a hurry anymore. <laughs> Take your time and, uh, and be patient and, and, and wait this, this few weeks extra. And, and what I always tell people, it takes a few weeks extra, but, but uh, the harvest in grams per square meter is so much higher that you will end with the same situation. Absolutely, because they're just gigantic plants. <clears throat> yes, it, it's just a matter of, uh, it takes a little bit longer, but uh, the grams per square meter is much higher. It's really very, very high. Eh? If you have a good haze, it's easy, 800, 800 grams per square meter. It's not difficult. Uh, uh, it's, it's much easier than uh, whatever hybrid. If, it's, if you're talking about grams per square meter, the haze is really a thing to go for. Yeah, and of course, a bigger plant just needs a little bit longer to grow. We have now an auto flower. We brought it to the market this year. It's called lemon cherry cookies. You can harvest this plant in under 60 days. I did okay. it in 55. Okay. Bernie, who's filming, did it in 52 from seed to harvest. Yeah, yeah, and of course, the year yield, if you have a pheno which is that fast, can't be as high as if I have a plant which grows um, three, four weeks longer. That's impossible. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 for sure. It's but it's really um, yeah, what I said before. I'm surprised about the quality of the of the outer flower these days, and it's exactly the same taste as this as the photo of this strain. And it's really uh, nice to see that there is all also coming a lot of uh, the famous runs, all those famous uh, strains from from uh, the U.S. They now all come in an uh, auto version. I think this is really. Uh, I think auto flowers is the future because now uh, I can imagine that, uh, li like the situation now here in Germany every ca everybody can have a few plants and then it's of course very convenient to have a few plants on your balcony and you don't have to use uh, uh, a blackout screen uh, they, they just flower it, it's, it's more or less the same as growing a tomato on your balcony you say it, I like it very much and I think the same movement, even my mom, should, so even though she has nothing to do with cannabis, don't even know cons consumption even her whole life, even she is now, because it's legally allowed, she's growing them now. Yeah. How, con how does that feel to you when you think back, let's think back, <laughs> 80s, Amsterdam, you're there, Neville is there, yeah. I think I heard and I don't know because I wasn't there and so you, I know you were there and we can't ask Neville anymore. 
Is it correct that in these days Neville was experimenting already with some ruderales? Yeah, 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 for sure. He was the first one. Uh, uh, actually, in his first catalog, he 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 offered, he sold ruderales pure seats, and he, he even has a photo in this catalog, and and I wrote uh, in Russian, in the wild growing ruderales. So he was already teaching uh, people, uh, but. Uh, he didn't come much farther than uh, second or third generation. So his yeah. auto flower, they were still like uh, a few of them were auto flowers. Uh, a lot of them, not yet, because uh, which we it, call it, fast it flowers now. No? Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it lacks a little bit uh, time uh, to to do more generations. And also, I think uh, he was so busy uh, making hazes, making <laughs> making real strong plants, that he forgot a little bit about it. But really, in his first catalog, you see the you see the photos, and he is the one who started out the flower. Like uh, he was the also. But the as one he has started start so everything. many things. Yes. He started everything, <laughs> more or less. Santi Baba, um, uh, Mr. Nice, uh, Neville. Those were really the. The you party. were there and I know another friend of ours was also there at that point. He didn't even establish the name Jorge yet. His name still yeah, was George. Yeah, yeah. Then I think you were <laughs> saying hi very early on when he came yeah, to Amsterdam, yeah, yeah, no? Yeah, because I have a nice story about it. Because um, George, he, he wanted to visit us, of course. And we said, okay, uh, come, come over and we show you around. We, we live in The Hague, uh, near the Westland. That's the big horticulture center of Holland. So uh, George came with a nice T-shirt, uh, with cannabis, whatever, marijuana. He said, hey, George, man, you're making a mistake because it's still not legal here. So if you wear this T-shirt and we are going to visit these greenhouses to show you the HPS lamps, those people, they don't like that you have that you are wearing this T-shirt. So please change your clothes. Because for the American people, it was really difficult to understand that there were coffee shops already in Holland, that there were growers in Holland, so they thought this must be legal, but it never has been legal, not one day. It's still illegal in Holland. But you are, and we're talking now on how, how is the project, what, what are you exactly no, doing? No, the right thing now? is, um, I, I'm very, very uh, um, proud of the fact that I, I was the f one of the first in Holland to grow indoors. And now uh, since um, a group of friends, uh, they decided, let's try to legalize marijuana in Holland. So um, a friend of mine, Bart, Bart Vollenberg, he started a uh, lobby. And, uh, and the thing was, uh, the 10 biggest coffee shops in uh, Holland, they put 100,000 euros in, uh, in a box. So that was 1 million uh, euros. And we, we hired a lobbyist, a professional lobbyist, because every industry has a lobbyist, uh, uh, tobacco, alcohol, uh, whatever, the pharmacy, it's all about lobbyists. But, but the cannabis industry didn't have a, a lobbyist at all. So we thought the government, they like to talk with government, with lobbyists. I'm, I'm against lobbyists, but that's how it works. So we hired this lobbyist and um, this lobbyist, um, they, he convinced it, the Dutch government, we need to have an experiment. We need to do something uh, to, uh, to uh, make the quality in the coffee shops better, more healthy, without chemicals, without spraying. So let's try to do an uh, experiment and let's try to, to give out 10 permits to 10 groups of people, 10 companies, to grow for the coffee shops. So there is now an experiment in Holland. It's about 10 cities. If you have a city, if you have a coffee shop in one of those 10 cities, in the future you need to buy your stuff at the, at the official uh, cannabis growers. And we were lucky enough to get one permit. There were 150 people uh, applying for the permit. Uh, the, 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 the government said 100 plans, they, they, they were not good enough. So there were uh, 50, uh, 50 people left. And there was a lottery and we were lucky enough to win, the, to win one of the permits. And since then, um, we started, to, uh, we, we, we bought a greenhouse, a big greenhouse. Uh, we we uh, built uh, six indoor cells in the greenhouse and we are growing in the greenhouse and so now we are growing for the coffee shops and we are doing very well because everybody likes our quality, our art achtig, it's organic and uh, we, we were the first one to start and um, uh, a few of the other ones uh, they are still struggling with starting uh, the, their uh, grows but it will I think it's about one year more and then all ten will be in business 
and then there is enough supply for the government to tell to the coffee shops now from now on you can't buy it from the black market anymore you need to buy from uh, the official uh, growers and I'm I'm I, I'm not against the black market because we are from the black market you know but uh, I'm against um, the fact that people in the black market the big growers they use chemicals they spray the wheat and it's it's not an, an, a legal issue it's a health issue and I'm totally um, in favor of uh, that, the, that the wheat needs to be healthier and we produce healthy wheat um, it's 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 um, it's healthy and it's clean everybody uh, a lot of people they they, they 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 smoke wheat from the coffee shops and they smoke now our wheat and they said hey this is totally different man I don't feel I feel well it gives me energy I like the uh, this is so totally different than the wheat that I'm used to it so it's really I believe this is uh, this is the future. Absolutely, organic is the future. Autos are the future. For me, you said many things. I, I was lis listening, and I wanted to thank you first of all for what you did. I think Arian was involved somewhat in in this whole in this whole lobbyism project yes, too. Yeah, yes, because sure. I always yeah, yeah. say I need yeah, yeah. to do this. I need to talk. Yeah, I need yeah, to yeah. get out to you on YouTube because yeah, yeah, yeah. we don't have a lobby. No, no, no. You made it though. Yeah, you yeah, made yeah. it for no, no, and you started it. You yeah, were there yeah. in the beginning. Yeah. You took all the risks. Yeah in the black market yeah, yeah, yeah. you are black market educated yes, yeah, you know yes, yeah, but now you are bringing the good flowers to the things yeah. and you That's are good. experimenting with auto flowers in yeah. your greenhouse you are open for different different yeah, genetics so yeah, i think this is uh, we are very open minded that's really uh, very important to to be like this and that's always so nice in a, in a fair like this sometimes you you think oh, i'm i am am i the only one who thinks like this <laughs> and then you're here in a trade show and oh 10000 people like minded and that's really such a good feeling you don't feel alone anymore sometimes you feel alone because then you think you have to fight against the government against the police against everybody the stigma is still there this this, this project what we are doing now is also to to change the stigma because it's still there you know and the stigma it's 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 a thing of 50 years the the government the media has pushed this stigma so we can't expect that this is gone you know in a few years so we need to go on with all those people here to fight against the stigma and it's really I see it's we are going to win really I I, I believe that we will get there yeah. I believe that not only you but also me will not be here anymore when the stigma is not gone it's gonna be gone but I will give my best and my heart and my life towards fighting it as hard as I can and hopefully yeah. the generation of my son will not have to have to will, will not even know it anymore no no but one, one thing I, will, I want to say still Please don't let let us lose this culture, you know, because this is the, this is a culture of freedom, and yeah, you know how it is nowadays in politics. Freedom is a little bit uh, a problem, a big problem, and I think this is one of the last uh, industries of of our, our culture, if you want to say, if you want to call it like this, where freedom is the most important thing. We we, we like freedom, and that's why we're doing this. All those growers, they grow because they don't like that somebody is telling to them hey man you can't do this you can't do this no we we decide what we want to do really and we need people like you who stands up who who is open-minded for the future as yeah. i said you um 40 years ago the ruderales you tried at neville's yeah. <laughs> was shit. you yeah. know it's not comparable you say no, not modern ones they taste just like regular strains you're growing organic jorge george our yeah, friend yeah, yeah, yeah. was saying once to me why do you think all these top michelin star restaurants buy organic fruits yeah. and vegetables you think they think it's healthier yeah, yeah, yeah. no it fucking tastes better yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. reason yeah, yeah, that, that's how it is. Uh, and, uh, I, I just uh, read uh, yesterday in the paper, in Holland there is a company, uh, it's called Hack. They uh, grow um, um, like peas and uh, all those, um, those little uh, vegetables. And they are now doing a test and it's all organic. Because uh, uh, people need to eat less meat and uh, the peas and all those things, it's a... It's, it's an, um, it's a source of protein, and they all, they understand eating vegetables is the future, but it has to be organic. 
And if a company like this tells this, this means a lot, man. This really means a lot that they say, okay, we want to improve the, the quality of the peas and of the, of the beans and everything, but in an organic way. I think we are going to win, man. I, 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 I have a faith and I am happy to that it's 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 we're proceeding in the right direction germany is a huge country it has a huge impact on the european union and yeah. on, on the world people see will see that things without prohibition is better and especially germany likes to uh, put a lot of money into science and there will be a lot of scientific projects coming up a lot of research which we lost in the last yeah, 50 yeah, years yeah. will be open and it will come out yeah. how good cannabis and i don't mean thc cbd we have so many cannabinoids so many we have so much more to understand uh -huh. that we don't even have research about so yeah. I think this will all come and in a very in the future the future is bright man the future is bright okay and <laughs> I wanted to thank you you're an icon to me okay. thank you for being so open-minded yeah. and I hope that you will next season maybe have some of our fast buds in your in your house in your it greenhouse you, man. Yeah, yeah. Just give me the sheets. And we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll figure it out. I'm sure we'll figure it out, and then I, hopefully I will come one day and come visit and, and check and, and check out your facilities. We can make a nice uh, a little movie or whatever. Yeah. All right. Thank okay. you so much, and always remember, it's 4:20 somewhere. Okay. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for sharing. Please subscribe. Hit that bell, and stay tuned because there will be much more content very very soon. <laughs> yeah. That's us.